Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some new haagen ice cream for you. I have the Summer Berry Cake Pop, the ch uh, Coffee Chocolate Brownie. I have the Dolce de Leche Churro. Now, uh, you have to hear the difference in the prices because it's astounding. <laughs> the uh, Summer Berry Cake Pop was $4.49 at Meyer. $4.49. The other two, because they were bought at CVS, or six seventy nine. That's the difference in price. Four forty nine to, and which Meyer is usually more expensive than other places. Four forty nine, six seventy nine. Just I bet you Meyer had a sale, but that's still pretty pricey. You think so? If I had to guess, Meyer had a sale on that four dollar one because I think they're usually about five or six dollars. Oh really? Okay. So I mean, I'm just guessing. I don't know. Summer berry cake pop ice cream. We swirl velvety strawberry ice cream with sweet cream ice cream, add perfect fluffy cake pieces, and then finish with a tangy raspberry sauce. Dig in, we know one nibble won't be enough. Uh, two thirds cup, 133 grams is 320 calories, or you can eat the entire, uh, this is not a pint, this is uh, 14 ounces. You can eat the entire container for 840 calories. So, they are sealed. I have had these laying out for about 10 minutes. Uh, and it will be interesting to see what these cake pieces feel like. Mm -hmm. Because it's saying fluffy cake pieces. Yeah, I've never had a fluffy cake piece. And normally when cake pieces are in ice cream like this, they're dense. So, mm -hmm. we'll see. Because I, I think I got a cake piece right here. Me. Yeah, definitely go to cake piece. Color for the cake piece. They're uh, kind of a the kind of a, kind of a creamy color. They're your traditional color for cake. Okay. In ice cream. Yeah. I love the strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. I think it's delicious. They, um, I know they wanted to make it different. They wanted to put the cake pop name on it. So they added cake. Mm -hmm. It didn't need cake. No. The cake actually, in, it does have a different texture. Mm -hmm. But I do have to say, at least it's not like chewing up a little piece of styrofoam. No. It's not chewy. It's kind of dense and not hard, but it's very dense. It's kind of gritty. Yeah, it's, it's. I could have just easily done without it. The berry alone, though, is the absolutely terrific. Mm -hmm. I would buy that strawberry all the time. Yeah. And I got a little touch. Did you say it was raspberry? I got a little touch of a little raspberry flavor. Well, I bet swirl. that. See, I haven't had any of the swirl at all. That's probably the swirl. I've mm -hmm. only had strawberry. Strawberry's good, but then you get that little raspberry um, mm. kick out of the swirl. See, I hadn't had mm -hmm. any of that yet. That's really good. That's and wonderful. If, and if you eat it all together, it's really, really good. Yeah, that yeah, it is divided like that. Um, I think that's terrific ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's good. The the cake is not as dense as in other brands we've had. Yeah. But it, I said sometimes it's like chewing up little pieces of foam from a pillow. Or it something. is but, better, but truth be told, they could have left, I know it's cake pop, they could have left out the cake completely, but it, it is delicious. Yeah, the good thing is I don't think they put tons in there. It didn't seem like Because you didn't get a lot, I didn't mm -mm. see a whole lot. In I got there, one so. piece in mine. Yeah. Okay, this is the coffee chocolate brownie. Our classic coffee ice cream is swirled with gooey brownies, rich espresso, chocolate sauce, and crunchy cocoa nibs. We'll see if Kevin likes this. Three, 360 calories for two thirds cup or 930 for the container. He usually don't like cocoa nibs. Cocoa nibs, yeah. He didn't like the, the texture of them, but we'll see. You never know. Looks and, very coffee-like. Yeah. It's coffee colored. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Okay. Got a lot going on in there. Ooh. 
<laughs> Mine has a really soft center. Wow. That is some strong, strong. Yeah. It's very bitter. It's the one I would want to eat. I think if you like drinking like really black coffee, like dark, nothing in it coffee, maybe even then sit around for a little while, you'd like it. <laughs> What's funny is, Ooh, it's dark. What's funny is, I only like flavored coffee. I used to, for years and years, I only drink regular coffee, like Maxwell House coffee. Now I only drink flavored coffee. I think that is incredible. It is strong. It does Very taste strong. like coffee that's been set in the coffee pot all day long. When you go to one of those car lots and that coffee, that pot's been sitting there all day long at that car lot, that's what that tastes like. But it has enough sweetness in it. And that uh, chocolate, I think I like the chocolate part. Delicious. And I like the little hunks, what are those, brownies or something? Mm -hmm. there? Yeah. Um, I like those. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the cocoa nibs. First of all, I add a really strong bitterness to it. Right. Uh, and that coffee flavor is just too, just too dark coffee for me. If you like uh, coffee at all, give it a try. Yeah, but if you're sensitive to bitterness, avoid it. <laughs> Kevin, yeah, because Kevin is more sensitive to that. Because you're going to hate it. Now, this is the Unless one, like honestly, it. that I'm most excited about because we did a review of the, um, the Dulce de Leche Churro on, on the stick. stick. On a stick, and uh, they were, it was incredible. So, it was a good ice cream when it had a coating on oh, it. Oh, wonderful, wonderful coating. Uh, this is cinnamon churro ice cream and thick, gooey dulce de leche sauce mixed with crispy, cinnamony churro pieces. Mm -hmm. That's what the outside of the, the bar was. Yeah, was. oh, listen, it was incredible. 390 calories per serving or 1,030 for the container, which does not surprise me at all because so good. Okay, let's see, here we go. And there's, you can see a little something, something here. Ooh, I feel a little resistance. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. A lot. Oh, and I've got a lot here. That's a lot of caramel. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, and look at those little hard pieces. Oh, <laughs> this just makes me happy just to look at it. You wanted the, some of those big churro pieces. Oh my gosh, yes. This is like the dream. Have more churro pieces and less ice cream. I know they're an ice cream company, but Ooh. Churro piece is not good. At least I, the one I got was huge and it was not good. It, um, it suffers from um, being in that ice cream. It's a little soggy, no, a little I'm, dense. It's tough and chewy. That's how big they are though. Look how big that is. Mm -hmm. It's good. It really. The flavor is excellent. I think the flavor is wonderful. The flavor is very good. I do not like those churro pieces either. Yeah, the texture of those churro pieces is horrible. Did you probably get one crunchy. Mm hmm I've had some that were crunchy, but they're like crunchy in a bad way, but they're chewy almost. Right, and I had one like that too. I had three of them, and every one of them. I had one like that too, but then I had one that was just as crunchy as a pretzel. Yeah, I haven't had that yet. Um, they, I, yeah, I agree with you. It suffers from the the frozen mix-ins conundrum for a, okay. a, a baked good. I got two pieces just now. Same bite, two pieces. One was very, very crunchy. One was thick like wet paper. Yeah. Like wet cardboard yeah, is what it feels like, like the texture. Yeah. Um, when you get a crunchy piece, it's incredible. Um, I think it's delicious. I really do think the flavor's great. It's good, and you can work around the churro pieces, but I wish they'd made them smaller. If I anything, would... I could suffer through smaller pieces than these huge pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I agree with you. I'm not a dessert on a stick person. I'm just not. I would 10 times rather have it in a bowl or in a cone because on a stick, I just feel like I have to eat it quickly. However, I make the exception for this. 
this is better on the stick. Mm -hmm. It's much better on the stick. And I noticed when eating them, it doesn't run quickly. It doesn't, you don't feel like you have to eat it quickly. That doesn't happen with it. And it's a thick layer is, very of thick that layer. churro, that cinnamon sugar on the outside, and it's incredible. So if you have the choice between the ice cream, it sounds crazy, or the the dessert on the stick, I would get the the bars, is what they call them, the bars. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. Just because the churro messes it up. It, those, it, it, yes, because it's like a thick, wet cardboard. I agree, that's a good explanation. That's and, good um, yeah, it just doesn't feel, it doesn't have a good mouth feel to it. So, um, and maybe those aren't the same pieces. Maybe that's two different things in there. Maybe the churro pieces, the big churro pieces are, uh... Um, well, you saw what it looked like. It was the big... Like, yeah, like, like a bread. bullet. Yeah. Um, but then there's something else in there that has that flat, papery, and that's not good. So, um... It, uh, no, the, I didn't like the big The flavor's one. good, but I'm not choosing that as my number one. No, this one's the best one. I think so, too. Yeah. The summer berry. Summer berry cake pop. I love <laughs> the summer berry cake pop. Well, um, and even the cake pieces you can you can live with. Yeah, because they, These are much enough. better cake pieces than those are churro pieces. Yeah, there's not enough cake pieces in there to make a big difference to affect it like this. Right. Like those pieces. So, yeah, summer berry cake pop's delicious. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture of each one of these for you at the end, and thanks for watching.